Welcome to another edition of Ice Cold Questions presented by Corona, Ethan Greenberg, CJ Uzama. You ready to roll? Let's do this. All right, so you get the honors. You get to pull the first question, the first bottle. Okay, all right. <laughs> Who is the best cornhole player on the team? That is a good question because <laughs> we play cornhole so much. <laughs> uh, Braden Mann, for sure, like hands down. We uh, So we have tallies on our whiteboard and the specialists right now are absolutely killing everybody. Um, and it's because Braden Mann just does whatever he wants to on the cornhole board, so he's not allowed to play anymore. Today we just established that Braden Mann is not allowed to play cornhole anymore. <laughs> because he's that good. He's too good. It's not fair. Where do you rank? Ooh, I think I'm top five. Um, I think the I think Greg Zerline is, is pretty decent. I think um, Mike White will say that he's the second best because it's Mike. Um, <laughs> But I think I get in people's heads way too much. So oh, I think you're that and that's guy. exactly. It's just like it's one of those like I'll stand over him a little bit. I'll kind of chirp at him. Um, but I, I'm 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 decent for sure. What is the scouting report of CJ Uzama, the high school quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> because you did play quarterback, right? Yes. Wow. That is. A, I, I'm just imagining you in this body playing quarterback. Yeah, I was. I was. Uh, I was the same height. I was probably 240 um, playing court. The scouting report, absolute tank who takes the open target every time. And if he doesn't, he will try to run someone over. Um, that was like, I went on a six game stretch where I didn't have an incompletion, but I only like threw the ball 35 times. <laughs> over the course of <laughs> over six Over the games. course of those Very six nice. games. Were you always playing tight end at Auburn or did you go in thinking you could have a versatile role? No, yeah, it, it, it was for sure going to be tight end, um, but it was, you know, we're going to use you for some like gadget plays that, that you know, I was able to do freshman year, um, which were kind of fun. I, had a, I threw a touchdown pass against Georgia. All right. Yeah. After you. Oh, let's go. I see this. I see, I can see the word city on here, so I'm trying to see what, what are you talking You're trying about? to cheat, good. Well, maybe. Okay. Um, what is your favorite restaurant in New York City? Whoa, that, that's a loaded question. I mean, how many restaurants are in New York City? There's too many. I love going to Le Baradin. Okay. Um, it's a French restaurant. Um, we, we just recently went there for Conor McDermott's birthday, uh, a, a bunch of the guys, and yeah, it's, it's, the food there is amazing. So like, that's my go-to. Anytime I'm in, in the city, uh, for the most part, I, I'm like, I, I gotta try to make a, make a trip to Le Baradin. I think you're gonna like this question. Okay. If you could choose a run out song, but it has to be from a musical, oh. what would it be? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, talk about a loaded question. That's reckless. That is ice cold. Um, that is ice cold. That is like the one that I, oh. I'm thinking mm, Greatest Showman has some has some fire songs though. Like I want to say Hamilton, wait for it because that's that is my, like that's my go-to musical song to get me just like I will. That's a game day list. That is like yeah, that's game day. Like I will listen to that game day. Um, but the greatest show, and the greatest showman, is like that's like next level to me. Okay. So I'm big musical to, guy. Yeah. No, I, now you know. Yeah, I, I might have to go with that one. Okay. Rank your top three board games. What? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and say Backgammon. That's probably number one. Um, I love Backgammon. This is like the most cliche thing to say, but I wanna say Monopoly because anytime that I've played a full game of Monopoly, I have won. Oh, so you're undefeated. I don't know how. But like, that was, I think it, that, that, was a, that was a humble brag. That was a humble brag. But like, I think people just get disinterested <laughs> and I'm like, if we're gonna play this whole thing out, like I'm going to be invested yeah. in this. And I'm a competitive guy. Right, yeah. So I don't, that's, that's kind of on the, I love checkers, so I'll say checkers. And if Battleship counts as a board game, I'll but say it. It'll count. What about Connect Four? You count that? Connect Four I mean, is like that's a the thing, like if it's Connect Four, I, oh, listen, like am I nice at Connect Four also? <laughs> yes. Scra oh, Scrabble. Scrabble. That's a board game. Mm -hmm. That's a board game? That's We're counting game. that? Yep. Scrabble. Everyone Scrabble's number two. Nice. Whatever else is number three, Scrabble's number two. That game is number one, Scrabble's number two. And then three is whatever. It could three be, can be Life, Monopoly, Connect the, Four. Yep, all of those. Okay. But Scrabble, and I am a, I'm a I big like Scrabble that. guy. I think you're going to like this question too as we wrap up. Ice cold questions. 
Who is someone you would like to meet not named Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, that's funny. And please give the backstory on Ryan Reynolds. Um, the backstory on Ryan Reynolds. I, I, uh, I just, I love the, the personality that Ryan Reynolds has. And I think that, wow, I, this is like, I, I just think we'd be best friends. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's because I feel like my sense of humor is similar. I wouldn't say it's better, I think it's similar. Um, it's on the same path. It's on the same path. With all so, that being said, though, who's someone you want to meet not named Ryan Reynolds? Right. And that's a good, so like, that's the thing. I, I would say Justin Bieber, but I kind of ran into Justin Bieber, so I'm not going to Another that humble counts. brag. And that wasn't on me, that was on Zach. So that's a Zach humble <laughs> brag. We're going to throw Zach under the bus okay, on that one. Okay, nice. Um, I think, honestly, meeting someone like Didier Drogba or, or Frank Lampart, two Chelsea legends. Like, I'm a huge soccer guy as well, so... Um, Meeting those two would be incredible for me just because like growing like growing up a little bit in senior year in high school and then definitely throughout college, that was the only thing I did. Like I would I would wake up every morning and it, I, I was lucky to have workouts later so I could watch Chelsea. That's Ryan tough. Reynolds. That's tough. Chelsea, Justin Bieber. That's tough, but yeah. And that's how we wrap up Ice Cold Questions presented by Corona.